Alright guys, what's up? It's uh, Chris here, I just Tripods, and today I'm here with you guys with the Baja iVolution Grip for the iPod Touch first generation. First generation, guys. As you guys know, may know, they also sent me a couple other cases, so you guys can expect those reviews coming soon as well. Um, but this, this is the review I'm doing for now. The Baja, not Baja, Baja iVolution Grip. I just want to start off by saying this case goes uh, starts around $60.00. You can then customize it if you want. You can put a clip on the back. You can change the colors and everything like that. But then obviously the price would go up. Okay. So I was using this case for actually a while now. My touch, iPod Touch first gen. Which I don't use too often. I use it sometimes for Cydia and other needs like that. Because it is jailbroken. So um, I've had this case on here because it, it's a really nice case. It's a really good um, case just to have on there for some shock protection. And uh, texture and grip wise like the name of it is. Uh, so I've had this case on it for a little while, and I've been enjoying it. I've been really enjoying it. So, um, let's get into the review. First of all, as you guys can see there, it's aligned with their company name and logo, Baja. Hopefully you guys can see it. If you're watching this in high quality, you guys surely will be able to see all of that Baja right there. Really nice touch they threw in there. Actually helps with the gripping when your iPod is actually sliding into the case or going into the case. Just a little background information on their quality of their leather. Uh, this, their leather that they make their cases out of are in the top 10% of uh, all Argentine leather, which is very nice. And all their, uh, all of their cases, all of their cases are handcrafted, which makes each and every case special in its own way. So let's get on to the review. I'm going to go ahead and put my iPod Touch first gen in here. You can slide your iPod into here like so, top to bottom. Squeezing it in there really nicely. Just like that until it gets all the way down to the bottom until it can't go anymore. Which is a very nice fit, by the way, guys. This case isn't mainly for scratch protection and drop and bump protection. It's mainly for gripping and holding your iPod. Um, hence the name, the grip. It's a very nice case. By the way, guys, Baja's packaging, also very wonderful. Uh, it's a very, very nice case. This is probably one of the smoothest leathers I've ever felt on a case on a case uh, you have a fully open dock fully accessible dock you can go ahead and charge sync while your uh, case is on you can also listen to your music and your power on and off on are also uh, right there so you can easily go ahead and access that your Wi-Fi is also a little bit exposed which is pretty nice so you don't have to worry about uh, it interfering the case interfering with your signal <coughs> excuse me guys sorry about that all right it does cover the sides up to here, up to obviously where the case ends and where the case uh, where the case starts and where the case ends. It covers your whole side. There's no chrome bezel on the first end, so you don't really have to worry about that, which is a, um, it's a cool little add-on how it goes all the way around. Your case is actually very, very secure in this. As you guys can see, it is upside down. And I'm going to shake this vigorously, guys. You see that? This Your iPod is not going to fall out of this case. This case grips your iPod so well that it's even almost, look how hard that is. I have to put so much pressure on just to start sliding that up. So let me put that back in there. This case also feels really great in the hand. It's a really nice, um, really nice feel to it when you're holding it and you have one hand here, you're doing what you're doing, you're doing all your stuff, whatever, you're going through your apps, playing some games. It feels really nice. It feels really natural because it is just so smooth, this leather. It's just so smooth. Um, that's that's um, this the quality, the quality of the leather, guys, is amazing on these Baja cases. Very nice, very very nice. Um, let's see what else should I hit on about this case. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry, I almost forgot about something. This case, there are a couple downsides to it. This case will not offer you front screen protection. So, say if you were to hit it into something, boom, like that, anything like a corner of a desk or something like that. Your front screen is fully exposed, uh, which is okay because it is a slider case. I understand that. Your also top, your top, you guys can see right there, is exposed. Usually on most side of the cases, it goes all the way to the top or maybe even over. So if, the, if you drop this case straight, boom, like that, it's going to do something to the top of your iPod. But the bottom is a really cool design they built in here. As you guys can see, it's just barely curved on each side. So your iPod cannot slide all the way out and that your iPod doesn't reach the full bottom of the case. You guys can see that right there, how there's a little bit of case before you reach the bottom, which is very nice, so you don't have to worry about that 
example, being in your pocket or something, you don't have to worry about your iPod hitting whatever surface it's on. The case is going to protect it that way as well. So, guys, that's basically all I can really hit on about this case. It's just basically a great all-around case. It's very nice texture, very nice grip. That's basically what this case is made for. It's grip. Um, something else about this case, by the way, it is very, very hard to slide out. You guys see my fingers turning red here. Very hard to slide out, so it is a very tight fit, as you guys can see there. It's also very complicated to fit in there, because it is a very tight fit. It is leather, that's why it is also a very tight fit. I found a couple other ways, um, if you guys don't feel like struggling like that, you can, if you want, go ahead and take one of this side, pull it down like that, pull it down, and you'll see it dislodges your iPod, and you can go ahead and then just grab your iPod right out. Not as much struggle. Also, if you're struggling to push it in very hard, go ahead and just settle your iPod into one side like that, and you'll see the other side is not level, but just go ahead, push your iPod in like that, push it down all the way, make sure it's in there. Make sure the sides are all the way up, and there you go, your iPod's in there, without any of that struggle. So it is made to slide in and out, but I just found those two ways a lot easier than forcing it and forcing it in and out and worrying about having maybe push something in down here or push something out to up there. So it's just two little hints or two little tips and tricks if you guys pick up this case to figure that out um, for you guys. So once again, this is my review on the iVolution Grip for the iPod Touch First Generation by Baja. Great case, guys. Great leather. Really wonderful product, guys. Other product coming from Baja Reviews soon, so stay tuned. Also, some quick quick little updates, guys. Don't forget to visit the website over there in the video description, appleupdaters.com. Also, check out Baja. Links will be also over there. Thank you, Baja. Um, as you guys may know, I have um, in the need, I'm in the need for some writers for that site because it is getting a little hard to control with all these updates coming out daily and everything like that. So here's what I'm going to do. I had you guys in a couple in a past video a little while ago send me in some emails or applications if you guys want to call them that to be a writer for the site. And right here I've chosen a couple of people for the beginning of the site just to get started a little bit more. Eventually there'll be a lot more writers and more people accepted. But just for right now, if you guys are out there watching this, I stop motion. I'd like you to write for my uh, website, AppleUpdaters.com. I'd like you to see if you can cover uh, the um, app reviews. Maybe co put a couple out each week, or a couple of written app reviews out each week. Uh, studios, you know who you are when, when I'm saying studios, you know who you are. Um, you can cover Apple News, etc., anything like that, any Apple updates. Me, I'm obviously going to cover some product, recommended products, Apple updates, etc., etc. And uh, iAlligator is the last one for now. Um, if you can go ahead and cover jailbreak news and other how-to's how that come out or anything like that, that'd be very nice. So just, I just wanted to hit on that, guys. If I just mentioned your name once again, I Stop Motion Studios and I Alligator. Just hit me up with a PM. Say, yeah, I'm game for it. I'm still, I'm still in. I'll still do it. And what you guys are gonna do, I will. Once you PM me, I will uh, give you guys an email to contact and send your blog posts to. And then I will just put those onto the website or put those onto the blog. Very simply, simply as soon as you send them to me. So just like to hit on that, guys. Please don't forget to check the website. Check it daily. Um, I got. I just posted a couple of today actually. Um, there's, I have AdSense on there, I have ads on there, because obviously I'm not a partner, so I can't have ads on my videos or anything like that, so there are ads over there, that might help me with a little, make some little pocket change here and there, a couple cents every day, you know, you guys can just help me out over there, appleupdaters.com, I'll catch you guys in the next video, thank you Baja so much for this, great case, um, wonderful grip, great leather, great quality, good job with this case, Baja, thanks guys, thanks for watching, favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace!